Hello, my name is Mark Best. I'm Head of Creator Experience and Tooling here at Trality, and this is a short tutorial video of how to use the optimization functionality in the backtester. So what we're going to do is start out with a simple um, exponentially weighted moving average crossover strategy. Here we can see we have an EMA short with a period of 20, an EMA long of period 50. And what we're going to do is when um, the short EMA is above the long EMA, and we don't have a position, we're going to take a position with 80% of our account balance. And if we do have a position and the EMA short is below the long, we're going to close that position. So we're going to basically backtest that over the last month. Um, and we can see we traded, drawdown was 9.67%, uh, total return was uh, negative 6.61%, and sharp ratio of negative 2.21. So one of the questions we might have is, are these the best parameters basically over that time period? Is 20 and 50 the optimum? And that's what the optimization allows us to do. So we've um, added a few new features. So now there's an annotation, which is parameter. Set names. Let's call this um, email short. It has type. Um, let's make that float. Uh, the defaults we can set to be equal to um, what we currently have defaulted uh, below and hard coded. Uh, let's search from basically 10 to uh, let's say 25. Max of 25. Um, we'll set enabled. Copy that and create um, email long. Also wants to be a flow, set the default to 50 like the code above. I'm gonna search from say 30 right up to 60. And that's enabled to. So we create these two parameters in the engine. Uh, currently we can't use them. To use them we have to include uh, params objects to the functions. We need to add that to both the initialize and to the, um, the actual handler. So what we've actually done here is run, we'll change the code so that it does exactly the same thing as the previous code. So because the defaults are 20 and 50, and they're basically being injected here, um, here, and here, the code is just using 20 and 50 and running one back test. And you'll notice that all of the numbers, all of the stats and the trades are exactly the same. But what we can now do with this modified code is run the optimizer. So if we go to advanced settings, we can now see that it is as it was, except there's now this optimization tab. And if we um, basically just enable that, what I'm gonna do is just um, start this running. Um, and I'm gonna do that, just explain the optimization and explain the settings just while this is running. So what we can see now is basically it's printing out running and then a set of parameters down here. So it's running 10, 30, 10, 37. The optimization um, algorithm being used is currently a grid search. We are using an objective function of PNL, so we're looking for the optimal PNL or the highest PNL. We're running a maximum of 25 iterations, and basically the subdivisions are specific to grid search, but what we're actually doing to find the optimum is basically taking each one of the parameters and slicing it into five um, and trying all of the combinations. So a five by five grid ends up being 25. Um, 25 optimizations or 25 back tests that it's running. And what we can actually see here is the objective PL, the optimum that it's found so far, is a positive return of 3.2%. So we'll find out soon if that's going to be the best one it finds. Yep, 3.2%. And what we can see down here once the um, back test is complete, as you can see the optimum, see the maximum drawdown, the sharp ratio for the best, we can see the best parameters found was an EMA long of 30 and an EMA short of 10. So if we want to, let's say we wanted to actually run the bot using those parameters, what we could now do is set this to default of 10, 30. And now if we actually disable the optimizer and rerun, we'll see that we're now actually running these parameters. So if you wanted to start a bot with these optimal parameters, uh, you can now start the bot and it would use these defaults. Um, the other thing that you might want to do as well is uh, let's say you have many, many parameters, but you only want to optimize for two of them. Let's say you had two or three different indicators and you just want to tune each one of them one by one. This is where the enabled uh, becomes useful. So basically, instead of running a 25 by 25 grid, 
what we can see now if we basically disable um, the long EMA is we'll be just optimizing for the short EMA. So because we have subdivision set to five, that will just run five different back tests and then output EMA short 10. So, so something else that might be useful for people is actually having a look at the um, results from the actual back test. So what we can do is export um, those results as a CSV, say the CSV file, and we can open that up. And then we can see all the different parameter combinations that were run and then what the objective function value was for each one of those combinations of parameters. So that can be useful for seeing how sensitive um, certain strategies are to different parameter combinations. Some parameters and some indicators might matter more than others. And that can be found out through looking at the whole uh, data set. So the only other thing to kind of mention is if there's any questions or any uh, information needed about how any of the optimization works, we can also have a look under basically the documentation. So we can see documentation, API, optimizer. Within the documentation, there's a lot of information about um, what the parameter objects are, all the different types that are possible, all the different settings. Um, we can see how to basically add this to the code and how the uh, parameter object can then be used within indicators. Information about where to actually find the optimizer within the back tester. Uh, information about the settings on the optimization. And then at the end, basically the code that we've just uh, gone through today to show how a complete um, bot can be basically, or strategy can be written uh, that is uh, set up and enabled for parameter optimization. So that concludes the tutorial. I hope that was useful and I hope that you uh, have a lot of success with the optimizer. I found it very uh, useful myself. So I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your time.